my GST 1997 GST turbo convertible did buy this car with a blown uh, seven bolt motor in there. The front end damage was there. Um, so I found a seven bolt uh, donor motor. Um, was putting that in there, mounted everything, but it wasn't running up to expect. It wasn't cranking right. I actually found the guy because uh, the guy that normally works on my uh, DSM up in Connecticut, Rafe, um, that's working on my 1G right now. Um, he was a little busy and backed up, so I was trying to find somebody that's also good. And I found the guy, uh, ESD Performance, um, his name is Kurt. Uh, he's up in uh, Pennsylvania. Um, he actually got this car buttoned up and um, found a lot of tons of boost leaks. Um, find out why it wasn't cranking the uh, crank sensor. He actually switched things up and got it running right. So um, yeah, so he buttoned this up for me, it drives good. I just want to just show you a little bit what I'm going to be working on. I'm going to be fixing this power steering leak, uh, the, the hose blue. So I'm going to fix that. Uh, I'm going to take off the front bumper, um, dry fit the, the new front bumper that I ordered online. And after we get everything mounted, I'm going to put the uh, quick release buttons that I have on the side so I can have a quick release for this, just in case I have to do something quick. Because I knowing me, I'll probably bring this damn thing to the track and just see what it runs. I'm just going to give you a little show around the, the car. So like I said, this is a convertible 97 GST. It's a burgundy color. It has about 115,000 miles, so it's low mileage for a DSM. It's not beat on. Leather seats. The gauges were already changed. I actually like these gauges there. Normally I like the OEM style, but these gauges are nice. Love having a stock radio. I'm gonna leave that. I love having stock interior, everything stock OEM. Back seats are in great condition. Gonna be doing a lot of cleaning in this. We're gonna detail the hell out of this car. Original mats. I love that they have the original mats. I don't know if the top was changed, but it's in really good condition right now. Okay, so I'm just gonna show you a little bit of the back here. It has a Gretti exhaust. Tail lights are in great shape. All the badges are still there. Love how all the badges are still in there. See the GST and the spider badge. Reverse lights are clean. Go on the passenger side. I don't like my hands being dirty, but I don't mind, but I have a newborn inside, so I gotta keep my hands extra clean. And then I got my safety goggles. I always have safety goggles. I finally got that line on. It was a little smaller than the stock one, but we got it on. So I'm gonna take off this to put the uh, power steering fluid in the reservoir here. And you gotta make sure you do as they say on this uh, max fill up. You don't wanna get too much because it cause some problems. And of course, boom! A big ass bubble, right? Always have a rag handy here.
these are my two bumpers. Obviously, the one with the color is a prior one that was broken. Um, this is my new bumper over here. I ordered it on eBay. The bumper cover was about $130 shipped to my house, which is really a good deal. I think it's a good deal. Um, the only thing I'm going to take off this bumper over here are the fog light inserts right over here. Right here. So if you look on the back side, there's a little clip here with a screw. I'm just going to take that and those pop right out because the ones that come in here, they're not inserted in there. So just don't throw your old bumper out without replacing that if you are um, going to be replacing your 2G uh, front bumper. The one thing that I am going to modify on this, I mean, I know a lot of you guys out there are going to look at me like, why the hell would you do that? But where you put the Mitsubishi sign, I like the flush look uh, without putting the emblem there. I just like how it looks. So um, I'm going to probably put that, you know, some little filler in there and just cover that up. I just like that clean flush look on the front nose with the intercooler just showing in the two fog lights. So yeah, that's it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to mount this up. So I got the uh, front bumper on. It, it, it took some doing. I had, it needed some help from my lady. She came out and helped pull and tug and put the screws in. It's not fully tightened down, but I mean, I just wanted to make sure it looks nice and symmetrical. I mean, it looks good. Still got adjustments around the headlight I have to do a little bit. Um, I'm just gonna put the side markers on. I'm actually gonna take this car for a little ride because I have to bring my son to karate practice. gonna put a hole in my fender man back up a little bit so I'm still gonna be working tonight on some things um, like I said the Eclipse is going over to get wrapped so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna fill in this little badge uh, indentation here I want a nice clean flow here because I like the nice, nice clean flow so I'm gonna fill this up with some putty sand it down so it can be nice and smooth to show you my supplies that I have to fill that in I'm not sponsored by anybody I just like to use certain products that I read up on and I hear good results so um, if you look over here so first I'm gonna be using is this uh, prep it's like a prep cleaner so basically uh, gets all the silicone and wax and everything that's on those bumpers or in the car before you paint so I'm gonna use that before I even actually sand because I don't want to sand whatever's on that bumper deeper into the bumper so it can show later in, in the, the primer or if I paint it later. So I'm just gonna wipe it down with this to prep and then I'm gonna hit it with a, not too much of a, a deep scratch but I wanna scratch it up, just scuff it up just enough so it can, the putty can grab to it. So I'm gonna use an 80 grit in that little area. I'm not gonna do too much, it's just something for the, the putty to grab on to. And the putty that I'm gonna use is the contours from Eastwood. Um, I used this on my RX Severance front bumper before. It's pretty good stuff and it's easy to use. This is a glaze putty. It comes in different sizes, but I got the big canister so I can um, you know use it for future projects. So basically this is the glaze putty and this is the hardener. And I have my my mixing pad right over here. These are different sheets. 
that you can just rip off after you use it you just rip off the sheet and go to the next one so I'm gonna mix everything on this board we'll cut my well, mud it up and then I'll sand it down about 15 20 minutes later uh, and smooth it out and then once I smooth it out I'm gonna spray some primer here's my primer I just had laying around the, uh, the garage um, the adhesive um, promoter is uh, that primer is pretty good it goes on clear but this is good for bumpers because it has um, this type of um, basically like a glue so anything that goes on top of that is stuck to the bumper and it doesn't peel off or flake off or anything like that so it was just laying around the garage I don't want to keep going out and spending money on something you know as a, a primer or this primer that primer I had stuff laying around so I just want to use a lot of this stuff up so I just brought out all my primers that I had left over so um, yeah so that's what I'm gonna do and that's what I'm working on right now I'm gonna be wearing some gloves we got the shop towels to wipe it down and we're gonna be wiping it down with the prep here Glaze putty from Eastwood. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is just put a little line. Boom. You wanna break up your hardener. Make sure everything's mixed up pretty good in here. Clean off my spreader. Just mix. And you make sure you get all of this mixed up pretty good. So he's either gonna come out really nice or really crappy. <laughs> so if any of you ever done drywall and spackled, same concept. I'm glad you guys saw that. This is really fast acting. Um, wasn't working fast enough. I had it, but you know what? I haven't used this in a while, and this is this is what this channel is about, man. You're gonna see the the mistakes, and we learn from the mistakes. So I know that it activates really quick. So I know once I do the once over, smooth it out as fast as possible and go with it. So I'm just gonna put a little bit more, mix up a little bit more. I don't think I had enough anyway. That's so much better just laid on there. And let it do its thing. I 
give you guys a closer look. I mean, it's not the prettiest, but once I sand it down, if there's any pinholes, I can just put a light skim on top of that. The point of this is uh, I just want to get rid of the emblem. It's not going to be perfect right now, right off the bat, but once everything cures and I prime it, it's going to look good. Sorry about that. The battery died. Unfortunately, I didn't get the sanding stages, but this is the end result. Everything's nice and smooth and all primed up. Um, the car just needs to be dropped off. Now, there's still a few colors that I've narrowed it down to that I want to get it wrapped in my next video. I guess the reveal will happen. So um, stay tuned. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, thanks again for tuning in to MG Meaningful Garage. Uh, hit that subscribe button so you can find out what color and what color screen I'm going to go with the Eclipse. And so you can see the final stages of this build. So thanks again for watching. Peace and love.